right, so now we want to have this explosive arm straighten out to give you a lot of speed. So now we've got the handle away. Now as we come into the ball, we want to get the weight of the club and your arms to straighten out for this, this snapping action to happen. So that's like the snapping of the towel. So now we're going to get width or arm straight, not by straightening your arms. See, that, that's where we get in trouble here. What's going to happen is now, as I'm coming into the ball, I move force from my right foot into my left foot. Now there's force in my left foot. Now as I'm coming into the ball, that force, the club's coming down, that force is pushing away from where the club is going. So it's constantly pushing away. Now I hear a lot of guys talk about, okay, you come in the ball and your left hip goes up. You know, it really doesn't go up. I mean, you can do that. What it's doing is it's pushing away from. It's not up. So everybody says, we're, we've got a downward force, we're going up. A golf swing isn't necessarily straight down. What is it? It's on an inclined plane. So as the club's coming in on this angle, if you're going to offset that angle, you have to be pushing away parallel to that force. So if the club's coming on this angle and you're pushing up, you're going to get pulled off balance. So it's not up, it's back away from. So now, as I come into the ball and hit the ball, as I'm pushing away, that push away straightens my arms. So I'm not forcing my arms straight, it's me pushing away that's straightening my arms. So my arms are relaxed, so they create a lot of speed. What happens with the club after you hit it? All right, so for the club to move its maximum speed, and when you watch most players when they try to hit it really hard, they don't hit the ball and then have this happen. They hit the ball and their arms straighten out, but then right after their arms straighten out, what happens next? Well, the club hinges back up. It hinges back up because there's no tension in their wrists. They're pushing away from the momentum of the club. It hits the ball. They push away their arms straight. Now the club's going so fast, what happens? If my wrists are relaxed, what's the club going to do? It's going to hinge back up on the follow-through side. That's not a forced effort. In fact, keeping your wrists Keeping your arms from letting the club re-hinge is actually holding on to it. Do you see some players do that? Yes, you do. Can a lot of them get away with it? Yes, they can, but they're using a lot of effort to do that. A lot of them are trying to stabilize the face. Right now, for most of you, you want speed. 